You guessed it, another dice tower. Let's complete this project together in this episode of Dungeons and Coffee! Ule, 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 ule. And away we go, sir. In this video, we're going to discuss this dice tower and some methods we haven't discussed so far in some previous videos. As you can see here, the top comes off and you drop some dice down there to roll out the bottom. In other videos, I've discussed at length how to make some of these things. Like for instance, the stones here are made with a glue gun. We've got the plaster effect here with sand, paint and glue. And we've got the shingles here. And we've got the fence. We've also discussed how to color those fences to look a little natural, as opposed to just slapping some paint on there. So this tower has been unfinished for a long time, so we're gonna finish her up and be done with it. We're gonna put a flag on the flagpole as well. I'll show you how I do a little shortcut technique to make a post you know, to look like fabric you would see on a flag. So here we go, we're gonna use three types of green. We're just gonna dab it on there. I like the dabbing technique. It looks like nice and natural when you're finished. As you can see here, it doesn't look like much, but we're gonna to add to that later. Here's the shingles. Nothing more than a bunch of cardboard diamonds of glued to a cone. And you dry brush that, and it looks real nice and worn afterwards. And here's our posty knot. We've cut that in the shape of the flag, as you can see here. We're going to stick that on our flagpole. The next step is we're going to wave it around. We're going to curl it so it's blowing in the wind. And next we're going to cover that with some good old fashioned Elmer school glue. We're going to do that for two reasons. Reason number one is when that glue dries, it's going to shrink the flag up and give it even more of an appearance of blowing in the breeze, overlooking the moors. And another reason is when we paint it, it's going to help our paint spread out and not cover so well, but that's what we want. That way we're going to have a nice a nice effect there of as layers of fabric. As you can see here, it's a little blotchy. That's what we want for this particular technique. But you can decorate your flag as elaborate as you want. For the sake of the video, I just stuck me P6 on there. Now we have some bushes at the bottom, little trees on either side of the door. We've got our window cut there so you can look through it. And there, of course, is our flagpole. Blowing nice and breezy. Some miniatures to show some scale there. And there you have it. Our nice, worn, countryside little tower. And here's our little demonstration. Ah, oh, blimey, that's what it's all about. The roll of those dice tumbling down the timbers. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, as well as a bark and chewini. So remember, keep your books off the table, keep raging for the dice. Ule, 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 ule.